So, have you been here before? I have not. And it looks like no one else has either. Yeah, I was gonna say. Just you and I. Yeah. It's like we could do whatever we want in here. Guys, can I get you something to drink? Bring my friend here a rum punch. You know what, I'm actually, uh, I'll just have a Bud Light, thank you. How are you gonna get drunk off of those? Oh, come on, they have a lot of good cocktails. We don't have Bud Lights, but we do have Amstel Light. Uh, Amstel Light would be great, thank you. So how many of those beers you got a pound to black out, 45? Um, I don't really black out, so I don't. I meant in college. <laughs> the boys used to call me the slug because I was constantly found in a vegetated state. <laughs> I'm like, sorry for partying. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Yeah, uh, wow, so you were found unconscious a lot? No, just passed out. I remember a couple of nights where I'd end up with two black eyes. I'm sorry, did you, did you say you ended up with two black eyes or two black guys? Well, both, if I really think back, <laughs> but never in the same night. Sorry, it's my ex, Troy. He's trying to get back with me. He's like, I've changed, baby. And I'm like, prison doesn't change you, Troy. It just contained you for a while. Troy was in jail? Upstate, yeah. What did he do? What did he do? Arson, which I never realized was a huge deal. Granted, it was his second offense. <laughs> I mean, you're a lawyer, so I don't need to tell you what he did to get put away. Arson will actually just do it on its own. You didn't put him away, did you? No. He tried to buy us a dog once, like that was gonna bring us closer together. I'm like, gee, Troy, I'm still trying to take care of the crabs you gave me, so maybe let's hold off on the retriever. Wow. Would you excuse me while I go powder my nose? By all means. Sorry about that. <laughs> you ready to hit the road or you want another Amstel light, you crazy Um, you actually, you have some, some powder. Uh, yeah, hmm. no, it's sort of, you keep missing it. Oh. No, not your cheeks, under your nose, like sort of by your nostril. So weird. I have no idea what that could be. Okay. So what's the game plan? Listen, we could go back to my place, but my beds are bunked, which is fine, but my roommate's always there, which is fine, because she always passes out hard. But my bed's on top, and we could literally make a sex tape with an entire film crew, and she wouldn't even know it. Trust me. Oh, oh that sounds, that sounds good. Ah, uh, it's just that, um, is that I'm sick? Is it contagious? Because I am down to put the pig in a blanket. Yeah. It's terminal. You're terminally ill? I am. I am. Consider it like make a wish. You're so accommodating. You have no idea, Ben. I'm impotent. She's all that I want, all, all that I want, and I, and I, and I want to feel the heat. On your profile, it says that you were a social worker. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I can't even imagine what that's like. It's obviously really taxing, but it's, it's so rewarding. I like to think I'm, I'm paying it forward.